from this tutorial we will start new training series on solid edge at first we will learn some sketch command click on iso part then right click on synchronous click on transition to order click on sketch select the horizontal plane to Take it to the side, press shift, press scroll and drag the mouse, pan it. Line command is automatically on. You can directly create sketch using a line. Click, click on the start point. There are two methods to create object in solid edge. You can directly create object with dimension or you can create the object and give dimension later. Suppose I want to create dimension, uh, this line with dimension. So here you can directly key in the length. Suppose I want length to be 120. Then press enter. Then give the angle. Angle is 0 degree. Enter. So it has created horizontal line. If you want to come out from this line uh, immediately. Just right click. So it will come out from line command but line command is still active you can still continue creating the line suppose I want to create something more from this end point and give the length of 60 angle is 90 press enter now I want to create the arc so click on this line arc then track this point track this point or you can also specify radius and sweep angle here I will track the point and click here. Then right click and escape to come out of the line. If you want to give dimension to this sketch, click on smart dimension. Select the line and give the location. And you can change the dimension if required. Again select other object. Again here. So we have given all the dimensions. So no need to change the dimension. Press escape to come out of the smart dimension. Suppose if I want to create inclined line or I want to create one equilateral triangle. So take the line command. This time I will create without giving dimensions. So give the first point. Click the second point and third point. Then using smart dimension give the length. Suppose 200. Enter. Then I want to give angle between these two lines. So click on here. Angle between. Select the first line. Second line. Then take your cursor on the sides. Where you want to place the angle dimension. Click and change it. Same way here. Then press escape. Again give angle dimension. Select first line, second line, click here, give the angle. Okay. In this way you can create equilateral triangle. If I want to create circle, to create circle there is circle by center point method is here. Circle. Then here you can specify the diameter, how much you want. Suppose I want it to be 60 diameter. Then click the point where you want the circle. Again change the diameter. I want it to be 80. Give the point. And I want it to be 100. So in this way you can give diameter here or radius here. Then press escape to come out. Then suppose I want to create a circle inside this triangle. So there is this Method is there circle by three point. Click on it. Then drag your pointer until it shows the midpoint symbol. Click there. Then again click on this midpoint and click here. In this way you can create a circle using three point method. Press escape. Press the first button. Drag the mouse. Release the mouse and delete the object. Press delete button on keyboard. Now I want to create some center lines. For that click on line. 
from here you can choose the line type I want it to be center like this you can also change the color from here suppose I want dark blue then from here you can change the thickness by default is 0.7 I want it to be thin I will take it 0.35 then drag the point drag the point and create one line right click again from here to here right click again from here to here right click and to place the dimension between these two lines smart dimensions so click on first line second line place the dimension give the dimension press enter now this line is shifted to make it align with this y axis click on connect connect select click on y click on this axis so it will get connected to that x y UCS then I want to create here circle so click on circle by center point now here it is not showing the intersection of both the lines so you just have to take your cursor on first line second line and go inside so it is showing now the intersection click there create one circle here again same create second circle now I don't want this circle to be center line so select the circles and press control and select the multiple object and from here make it continuous press escape and I want this circle to be again control press control select both the circle I want it to be 0.7 escape then I want to create one tangent line to these two circles so click on line again I want it continuous and I want it for 0.7 if you change the property you have to remember that you have to change it again back if you want to create with different properties so I want to create a tangent line click on this circle and take your cursor ahead until it shows the tangent symbol now it is showing the tangent symbol if it is not showing just zoom it using mouse if you rotate your scroll towards monitor it will be zoom minus if you rotate it towards you it will be zoom plus then take your zoom plus again when it shows the tangent symbol one circle and inclined line click there so it will create a tangent line right click again from here click here again take it ahead tangent symbol is shown click there right click if I want to remove the unwanted entities for that you can use trim click on this trim and click on click on the object you want to remove now in this portion also object must be there so for that you can use this zoom area click on zoom area click the first point click the second point so it will zoom that area furthermore you can zoom it then trim then select this arc then from here you can zoom fit so complete drawing will be shown again zoom area click first point second point first point second point then trim and remove this now it is showing the complete circle will be trim so just zoom minus, minus it by little a little so click on the zoom tool click first button and drag the mouse upward then again trim now it is trimming the this portion only then again zoom fit click on zoom fit so in this way you can use the trim button to remove the unwanted object so from here you can use the different zooming command we have seen zoom area then for zoom click there click the first button and drag the mouse if you drag it upward it will be zoom plus if you drag it downward it will be zoom minus then zoom fit then here from here you can pan it from here if you orbit it by mistake by pressing the scroll you can come back to original position by clicking on this sketch view it will be back to a vertical view and if you want to do it by mouse 
then rotate scroll towards monitor it will be zoom minus rotate scroll towards you so it will be zoom plus and to pan press shift press scroll and drag the mouse so using mouse you can perform the zoom and pan operations then next we will see how to create ellipse so just escape trim command is still on by clicking the first button and dragging it you can erase the entities or escape it select the object and delete it then to create ellipse there are two methods are there first is ellipse by center point give the center point give the other point other radius point and give the third point to give the dimension click on this distance between click the first point once it shows that symbol quadrant symbol ellipse quadrant symbol click there again click click and give the dimension 800 now it got rotated so to make it horizontal create one line take the line make it center then again from quadrant of this ellipse to the this quadrant then right click escape then make this line horizontal click on this horizontal vertical select the line so it will make it horizontal then again distance between click this point then this point and give the dimension how much you want so in this way we have given both the parameters this is the one method for creating the ellipse press escape to come out select and delete the other method is ellipse by three point so in this three point at first you will have to give first endpoint of the ellipse then second endpoint of the ellipse and then third point then again we have to make it continuous that we have to remember it and if you want to bring this ellipse at the on y axis then you will have to create one center line again from here from the quadrant of the ellipse line take the quadrant take the quadrant escape then again make it connect this line the y axis with this line so in this way you can align it with again the you can use the distance between the same way we have used previously so that's all thanks for watching we will stop here